Practical Geometry In the earlier chapters, basic geometrical ideas, we have learnt about geometrical shapes. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to draw the geometrical shapes in accurate sizes and in accurate angles. Here are some geometrical shapes that are drawn freehand. But if we wanted to draw a geometrical shape with an accurate size, how can we do that? To draw a geometrical shape in accurate size or with an accurate angle or with a desired angle, we need to have some equipment. We need to have some instruments to draw the geometrical shapes. To construct a geometrical figure with accurate sizes and angles, we need to have certain tools. These are the compasses, the ruler, divider, protractor, scale. Where do we find all these? We find all these geometrical instruments in our geometrical box. So geometrical box, it contains all these instruments which let you to draw a geometrical figure with accurate sizes and angles. Here we have a scale. This is a graduated measuring scale and a set square and a protractor and a compass and a divider. By using these, we can draw the geometrical shapes. This is a divider. This is protractor. And this is compass. This is a scale. And this is set square. Construction of a line segment of a given length. In this lesson, we will learn how to construct a line segment using geometrical instruments. We already know what is line segment because we learned in the earlier chapters about a line segment. Line segment is the least possible distance between the two given points. Say, for example, point A and B. The line connecting these two points with the least possible distance is the line segment, line segment AB. Now, let us see how to construct such a line segment using geometrical instruments. Construction of a line segment of a given length. First one by using ruler. Suppose if we want to draw a line segment of 7.8 centimeters length. First, place the ruler on a paper and hold it firmly. Mark a point with a sharp edged pencil against 0 cm mark of the ruler. Name the point as A. Mark another point against 8 small divisions just after the 7 cm mark. Name this point as B. Join points A and B along the edge of the ruler. AB is the required line segment of length 7.8 cm. Now let us see the second method by using compasses. Suppose if we want to draw a line segment of length 5.3 cm. First, place the metal pointer of the compasses on the zero mark of the ruler. Open the compasses so that pencil point touches the 5.3 cm mark on the ruler. Place the pointer A on the line L and draw an arc to cut the line. Mark the point where the arc cuts the line as B. On the line L, we got the line segment AB of required length. Construction of a circle we know what is a circle. In a circle, the points on its boundary, every point on its boundary is at an equal distance to its center. Such geometrical shape is called a circle. For example, a wheel. They also will be in definite sizes. Now let us see how to draw a circle with the desired radius. Construction of a circle using compasses. First, 
open the compasses for required radius. Let us say for example it is 3.7 centimeters. Mark a point with sharp pencil. This is the center. Mark it as O. Place the point of the compasses firmly at O. Without moving its metal point, now slowly rotate the pencil until it come back to the starting point. Now your circle with a radius of 3.7 cm is ready. Let us see an activity with circles. Make a circle of desired radius in your notebook. Make a point on it. Put compasses on it and make a circle without changing the radius. It will cut the circumference at two points. On both points, repeat the process again. You will get a beautiful picture as shown. Color it as your wish. Perpendiculars. You know that two lines, either rays or segments, that are said to be perpendicular when they intersect each other at an angle of 90 degrees are called as perpendiculars. In this figure, the line L and M are perpendiculars. Constructing perpendicular bisector of the given line segment. Here, a line segment is given. Now, we are going to construct a perpendicular bisector using compasses. Let us see how to do it. Constructing perpendicular bisector of the given line segment. First, draw a line segment AB. Set the compasses as radius more than half of the length of segment AB. With A as center, draw arcs below and above the line segment. With the same radius and B as center, draw two arcs above and below the line segment to cut the previous arcs. Name the intersecting points of arcs as M and N. Join the points M and N. Then the line L is the required perpendicular bisector of the line AB. Line L intersects line AB at P. Construction of angles using a protractor. Now we will see how to construct an angle using protractor. Construction of angles using protractor. Let us construct angle PQR equal to 40 degrees. First, draw a ray QR of any length. Place the center point of the protractor at Q and the line aligned with the ray QR. Mark a point P at 40 degrees. Join QP. Angle RPQ is the required angle. 